on the outer side lot of people perceive that we are an autonomous vehicle company we are not an av company we are an ai company first and that uh, that is where the journey starts the real world is not a predictable system which follows a certain set of rules okay every actor around you you know it could be people it could be let's say uh, animal everything is an intelligent agent in itself you know which is capable of making their own decisions independently and that really makes the game tricky the current ai is not able to handle the indian traffic right let's be very open now if i take your brain you know how much time it will take for you to let's say if you learn driving in a sedan how much time it will take for you to adapt to an suv if you learn to drive in bangalore you do not have you have to relearn driving in let's say delhi or mumbai because we grasp the physics the principles of driving of representation of prediction adaptation so well that we are able to scale that domain adaptation across use cases across vehicle form factors across geographies and that is the big gap that nature inspired ai tries to fill between let's say the human brain and the current ai and that enables us to do everything using only cameras the way a human brain does so a z pod what we revealed was a concept vehicle uh, to showcase the powers of what we call we use introduces word this z day what we call true vision autonomy now in z pod Uh, the cameras were the only sensors with a normal traditional compute and a very general purpose gps to guide your directions so it was based on the principles of nature inspired ai and that allowed us to eliminate lidars radars very high precision imus and the traditional concept like gps rtk and hd maps So if you have a look around it, there are three cameras uh, on on the back side of it, and there are multiple cameras also around the entire vehicle, which cover the 360 degree view of the entire vehicle. Uh, the the basic quality which I want to highlight is these are just monocular cameras like you and me have in normal phones. That's all it 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 has. Uh, on top of it, we have a GPS antenna, and the GPS sensor is in the bottom of the vehicle. You can see there are two screens over here. Uh, these two screens, uh, you know, capture. what what our autonomous vehicle is saying so whenever it is in autonomous mode these two screens will be active in the in the bottom of the seats we have our uh, computers uh, where we analyze all the data which is coming from these camera feed feed and you know they process it around so we have two backup uh, two computers actually one computer to work in fully autonomous mode which takes all the decisions around it and there is one more backup computer in case there is some some failure in that particular computer that backup computer takes over and you can take the decisions over it so our technology is vehicle agnostic as as we would have said for so long so it does not require a, this kind of pod only to get into a vehicle it can be a normal day to day car also which where it can it can go to so we are we are working on both these domains one is is taking a concept like this pod into multiple variations of it and second is a subset of this technology basically not the entire driverless technology but a subset of this technology can also assist normal day to day drivers in there which we call as advanced driver assistance data has always been a very core problem as an ai you know your the ai engineering the ai architecture and pipeline is one part the biggest problem had been how do you really create a very well representative data that accounts for you know uh, everything that can happen out there without inducing any kind of bias and data is a very costly affair you know that collection then engineering then annotation so that is where primarily we have been very aggressively focused thing on what we call synthetic data generation uh, both for training our models now the we generate lot of synthetic data with prompt you know bangalore road with uh, cherry blossom a bangalore road with two red cars a bangalore road with two red cars and an auto rickshaw a bangalore road with, let's say a delhi road with an auto rickshaw on which sudden stickers are pasted like a lot of these iteration that allows us to generate unique varieties of data uh, and even one which might be difficult to let's say capture on indian road
uh we started around one year back you know when literally it was we started with nothing in our hands we had this prototype e rickshaw kind of a demo that we did that t- took the internet by storm a little bit and i think within the span of one year uh, this z day on june 4th 2023 we became the first company in india and also for with certain specs first company in the world to showcase uh, an av ride live using only cameras uh, bypassing the traditional paradigm we are building such kind of systems which which can take from one level of ai to the other level of ai where you can move safely in any kind of environment situation with with our ai solution so that's where we are going forward it's a long journey we understand that the lot of challenges involved on the way we understand that but yet we are on a very bold mission to do that